yacht. Let's go. There it is. Heep, heep, heep. Hey guys, uh, got my new GoPro Hero 9 recording with that right now. So far, I'm loving it. The image quality is pretty crazy and the image stabilization. Um, but something new we're going to dive into is seeing what the sound quality is like. So right now I'm talking with just a normal GoPro, um, nothing attached to it, nothing covering the microphones, anything like that. And what we're going to try out is I just got the media mod. So GoPro Hero 9 media mod. It's going to add the external microphone right here on the corner, um, as well as all the plugins on the back right here. So you open them up and be able to plug in external mics, that kind of sorts. And the other mic that we're going to start testing is the Purple Panda Lavier mic. So as you can see, it's a nice little clip-on mic. Um, going to try using that on the inside of my motorcycle helmet and my street bike helmet. So going to put it on the inside and talk while I'm riding and see what it sounds like. So let's see what the media mod sounds like. All right, so now we got the GoPro Hero 9 media mod attached. Um, so it's got the extra little speaker on it. Kind of just want to see what kind of sound it's picking up compared to the GoPro by itself. Um, so right now it's got the microphone set on just the front. So if I turn around like this, it'll probably pick up a little bit different. Um, and I do not have a little windscreen on right now. I don't think really need it for here in the backyard. Um, kind of just seeing if it picks up any other noises. Definitely be interesting test on the dirt bike because I won't run an external microphone. I'll just run this and see what it sounds like. But let's go ahead and uh, plug in the lavier mic and see how that sounds. All right, so now we went ahead and plugged in the Purple Panda Lavier mic. Um, obviously, the one bad thing about it is it's corded. So we're going to have a came with a pretty long cord. So to put it in the street bike helmet, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that, hide it behind some pads, something like that. But um, what I've seen and researched on this Lavier mic, any Lavier mic really for the most part, is going to pick up much better sound, uh, omnidirectional sound. So kind of wherever it's coming from, it's going to pick it up really nice and vibrant see what it picks up differently out here but definitely excited to get that on the inside of the helmet and uh see what it sounds like um i already listened i noticed with the gopro 9 media mod um, having the front facing microphone it definitely picks up really well facing me when i turn it around it did sound funky but that's what it's made to do so i could play around with that one thing i've already noticed too is it adds some bulkiness to the gopro which the hero 9 is already a bigger gopro it's a little bit harder to to tighten up the screw that kind of stuff it's going to be a little bit heavier but that's kind of what you're getting with this more advanced technology. So see what this one sounds like. All right, guys, just wanted to show you the helmet setup before I go out for a ride. So we got the GoPro on front here. Um, we actually have a new Ride Tech um, 3D printed mount right here on the nose of it. It's shaped to fit the Shui RF1200 perfectly. Um, so I got the media mod on the helmet. And on the side here, you can see I got the Lavier mic plugged in just like that. Luckily, figure out a way to hide all the cords and such. And then the inside, right in here, you can see the little microphone just sticking out there. And I got my Cardo microphone as well. So I got both right inside the nose piece there. But I'm gonna go out for, for a ride, go cruise around, kind of see what it sounds like. Guys, so we're gonna go out for a cruise. Um, taking a little street bike for a little cruise. Just gonna kind of test out the mic. So right now I have it standard setting of the mic input. I believe we're running 1080 film resolution. Um, we do not have the uh, image stabilization boost or the hyper smooth boost. Um, this is a new Ride Tech Moto mount on the front, on the, the nose mount. So we're gonna see how it looks. I have the short arm on right now. Gotta see what the angle's like. Um, a lot of times when I'm filming on my street bike, I find that my head is tilted so far down. You can't really see the horizon, which is something that you kind of want to see. I'm going to take off here. My visor up right now. We'll see what kind of wind noise is like. Um, I do not have any kind of wind sock on or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of cruise around. Going to drop a visor. So for me, it's a lot quieter with the visor down. I'm sure without having any kind of wind sock on the microphone itself, this is going to be quite a bit quieter. Perfect day for a ride. Probably sitting about 60 degrees outside. Uh, don't trust my dash if you can see it because that is sitting in the warm garage with the sun hitting it all afternoon. All right, so the camera just stopped recording. That was weird. 
But yes, yeah, so this is the first ride on a street bike in a couple days. I've uh, been taking the dirt bike out so so much that haven't really gotten time to ride the street bike. So nice sunny day out here. Not too hot though. It's nice 60 degrees. Go see what we can get into. So this is mainly a sound test. So we're just gonna ride nice and smooth. There is also a police officer ahead of me, way up there, so I'm gonna keep it nice and tame today. Very interested to see what the wind noise is gonna be like. Uh, it, this purple panda lavier mic did come with a, uh, it's like a little floof, I would call it, that goes over the mic for wind noise. So we may, throw that on depending on how this sound quality is um, I'll pull over eventually here and listen to it kind of see what it's like as well as look at the angle of the GoPro make sure we're all good but just kind of trying to start the moto vlogging career just trying out something fun this bike is so different than the dirt bike dirt bike you're sitting up so tall you can just flip throttle and come right up this bike you got kind of got to muscle it but so much torque with the nice little twin 700cc motor. Not too hard to do. Balance point's a lot different though, so that's definitely something I gotta play around with. Interested to see what the uh, bike sound sounds like through his lavier mic as well. Um, hopefully it's not too loud. I do have a Akropovic carbon exhaust on my uh, FZ07, so sounds pretty nice I'd say. People can definitely hear me, but it's not necessarily too droning out. If I'm sitting on the freeway for a while, I will throw in some uh, earplugs, some kind of protective device for my ears, mainly for the wind noise. Cruising at 60, 70, 80 miles an hour for long enough, the wind will really get to you. Everybody's out running the track today. Good day to be outside, that's for sure. Went for a nice mountain bike ride this morning. One of my buddies. It's just good to get outside whenever you can right now. Downtown Campbell. I don't know if we call it downtown, old town. It's not a big town, but fun little spot here in Campbell, kind of in the middle of it. There's quite a few good bars, a couple good restaurants. So definitely a good place to come pre-COVID and hopefully post-COVID if that time ever comes. Before of what I tested out in my backyard, you could definitely tell the GoPro Hero 9's microphones are actually very good. Um, without the media mod, without anything like that. Adding the media mod, you get a little bit a little bit more depth, I would say. Um, can definitely tell a huge difference going from the, or having the front mic turned on. When you turn the mic around, it definitely sounds a lot different. Um, it was almost coming off my house, is how you can hear it. Then you throw this lavalier mic on, and you kind of have to talk a little quieter. Be interested to see what it's like right now, because when I tested it, just kind of with the helmet on in my house, it sounded a little bit too loud. Uh, may have to go ahead and turn that down in editing. So the park is crowded today. I went ahead and pulled in here to go ahead and listen to some of the video that I was taking. And you know, so far with this purple panda lavier microphone, the GoPro Hero 9, I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, the sound quality has been pretty good. It's definitely a little bit loud. Um, I wish there was a way with the GoPro to turn down the sensitivity or you know how how much it's picking up that kind of thing um, but the wind noise didn't seem bad at all as well as the uh, angle of the GoPro I mean so far what I was watching it seems really good it'll be a lot different when I get up into the twisties up on highway 9 stuff like that because I'm a little bit more tucked a little bit looking down just right in front of me going faster so the angle might be a little, little down but it's been pretty great so far and the VTA train coming through. Here we go. Train stops for me, I guess. Love coming down to Campbell. There's a place called Katie Bloom's just right behind all these tents. A uh, nice Irish pub. They got darts, karaoke, all that kind of stuff. Really fun places here. Orchard Valley Coffee. They roast their own coffee there, which is always really good. Um, they also make some really good breakfast burritos. Yeah, so overall, I think this Lavier mic is gonna help me to start doing what I'm trying to do. 
and I don't know what I'm trying to do, but we're just trying to have fun, ride some bikes, hopefully meet up with some people, do some fun stuff. Maybe a couple wheelies here and there, but you know, on closed roads, professionals only. It's the only way we do it. All right, let's open the old girl up, see what she got. Gotta say, this bike is so fun. Little twin motor, I mean, it's crazy torque. You don't even have to go fast to have fun, just the acceleration itself is really my favorite part. Just having a chat with a guy at the park when it was all crowded and everything. Uh, he said he's got a FZ1, which haven't seen one of those around for quite a while. It's a R1 motor, 1000cc Yamaha motor, four cylinder. Uh, and he's talking about the Tenere 700, the new Yamaha Tenere 700. It is the adventure bike, the pretty much the exact same motor as my FZ07 or the MT07, same bike. But the Tenere has a lot longer suspension travel. It's the adventure version, so it's a pretty sweet bike. Love to get my hands on one, then I wouldn't have to keep switching between my dirt bike and street bike. Good thing I live in California. Lane splitting is pretty much illegal. It's not frowned upon or anything. People are pretty cool with it. I know when I go back to Washington State, uh, it's you can't lane split or anything. And the few times if you know, during the summer it's so hot that you're just sitting in traffic, you just want to get through, but people definitely don't like it. You get judged quite a bit if you do do it. Alright guys, so that's testing out the new microphone with the GoPro Hero 9, the Ride Tech Komodo mount. Um, very pleased with all of it. I think it's, it's all working really well. Go ahead and throw this up on YouTube. Uh, be sure to you know, comment any kind of ideas or suggestions you might have as I'm very new to this. We're just trying this out. And if anyone ever wants to ride in Northern California, let me know. We're always riding. Right, guys, so we're getting a highway speed wind test here. Uh, sound check, I guess you can call it. Um, cruising on the highway, as you can see, we're going about 60 miles an hour. Custom loud. Honda's next to me. But. I went home and listened to the video so far and I'm thoroughly impressed. It's amazing sound quality. Um, you could hear the bike a little bit but it never seemed to drown out um, from the exhaust or from the wind noise. I'm sure this is a bit different. We're going about 70 now. Um, there is a lot of wind noise in the helmet. This is one of the quietest helmets you can get, the Shoei RF1200. But I mean just naturally I'm on a naked street bike so there's no fairings. There's nothing blocking this wind from in front of me. Uh, but it's pretty great to have all the pieces of the puzzle as far as the, the new GoPro, the media mod for the GoPro Hero 9, and then also a lavalier mic so I can actually talk while I ride. Um, I started to film a couple videos before while riding, but even when I watched them back, it got a little boring when I'm just riding and there's no talking, nothing like that. Um, so maybe a little bit talking, Try to bring some topics up or ride with some people that would be pretty fun i am kind of trying to research a way um, i have a cardo pack talk unit on my helmet as well so when i ride with other people i like to chat with them back and forth you know while listening to music that kind of stuff so it'd be pretty cool to be able to record audio from what they're saying to me as well as what i'm saying so that we can get uh, the full conversation because if you're just getting my side of the conversation, you don't really know what we're talking about. It's going to be a little pointless, but regardless, pretty great to have all these pieces. Uh, California traffic, it's always fun. Definitely starting to cool off a little bit. I mean, it's still about 60 degrees out. It's not too bad, but the fog and the clouds are starting to cover over. Definitely big props to Purple Panda for their lavier mic. I mean, any lavier mic of what I've heard and researched is really good sound quality but uh, 
Purple Panda also sends you, so they send you a corded lavier mic. Um, I believe it's like a six, five or six foot cord with it. So it's made so you can wear it on your on your body and clip it on your shirt, something like that. Uh, luckily I found a nice way to tuck it up into the helmet. Took a video of it on my phone showing the helmet and how it kind of looks now. But Purple Panda also sends you all the necessary attachments, some extra clips, that kind of stuff, as well as, um, so for the GoPro Media Mod, you have to use their little cord that goes from a, it, it's just a aux cord into, a, a female aux cord into a male aux cord, but it converts it so that you can actually use it with GoPro, um, with the Media Mod, because there are some kind of issues with that, I believe, kind of just what I researched, but then they also have another dongle that's a uh, female aux cord that goes into a micro USB, so you can use that with uh, DLR cameras, that kind of stuff. So it definitely comes as a nice little kit. Uh, they're a pretty small company, so it's great to see it. They're producing a really good product, as well as uh, nice packaging and getting you everything you need for it. So enough research has gone into it. And then, of course, shout out to GoPro for the great footage, great camera, but also stop changing all your things because it sucks having to buy new stuff every time. Also, Apple, they do that as well. But there's got to be a reason for the upgrade, so pretty good. All right, guys, so we're headed here to get COVID tested for work. Hopefully, I go back to work. Um, I did travel over the holidays, so therefore, I got to get tested before I can go back. But appreciate you watching if you made it to the end. Um, definitely go check out my Instagram at Two Wheel uh, Just trying to gain some followers and you know keep riding bikes. I love doing it for fun, so it'd be pretty great if people followed along. Maybe I could buy one of those Tacomas with the camper on top too. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, uh, subscribe on YouTube if you wanted. Just comment whatever, uh, whatever can help me out. If you know anything about this kind of stuff, I don't know much. So help me out in any way you can. That'd be great. Hit me up on Instagram. We're out. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, let's go. There it is. Yep, yep, yep.